Atlas welcoming you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. The bully's confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. the kind of fighter who you just know has no self-doubts. Look at the way he's making his way down to the ring right now. You can see it in his eyes. His adversary, fighting out of the red corner, the bully, Sullivan. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. So we're underway here, round number one. Such a distinct advantage as to who the faster guy is, Teddy, who's got the speed. How does the opponent have to deal with that? Well, it's not just the hand speed, it's the foot speed. And as far as that goes, I think the opponent needs to cut the ring down a little bit. You know, be like a linebacker in football. Don't follow him around, but just move parallel, shrink that ring. The bully's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Sullivan's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Keeping him honest with a double jab up top. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Good step back counter punch there. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Able to land the hook to the head. The bully's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Sullivan's just got away with a headbutt. Not one, but two. Good work with the jab up top. Right hand downstairs. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hadler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if it's going to live up to that. So far, so good. And we come to the end of round number one. The boy's eye is shut. Teddy, what has to change for him now? Well, right now, he's got to cover up that weakness. You know, he's got to make adjustments for that, as you just touched on. He's got to move the other way. You know, move in a way where he's not so vulnerable to that punch, to that side. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. This is your night. Keep closing the gap. When you get close to him, Fast combinations to the body. He doesn't like those shots to the body. Nice work. You can't hear So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. That's a forceful jab by Sullivan. 
the bully's tag by a hook. Sullivan's doing well here with that two-punch combination. The bully's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. Sullivan's giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has established the jab already. Yes, he has established the jab. And now he's He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He's jumping all over him now. What a big shot. Look at the torque from that uppercut in Florida. for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. The bully's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Good jab by Sullivan. Piercing jab. The bully smashed by a hook. Sullivan's in control now. Scores a knockdown in the last round. Teddy, do you think he's going to go after it here when this next round starts? Well, I'll tell you, Joe, he should. I think he should because that's what the networks are looking for. They're looking to bring back guys that are exciting. There's no better way to ensure that they're going to bring it back than scoring a knockout. He has an opportunity. Yeah, opportunity to advance his career. Start of a new round, and it seems like a whole new man. Hard to believe that this is the fighter that was just knocked down in the last round. Well, he's got some of those great recovery skills, kind of like Arturo Gatti used to always have. You know, he was a guy that he could be batted, he could look like he was barely hanging on, and then all of a sudden, the next round, he looked good to go. Well done, three punch series of punches there by Sullivan. Sullivan's doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there is a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. The bully stunned, and he is hurt. Big shot. And once again, he goes down. The question is... Can he rise up again? One, two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Good job on the two-punch combo by Sullivan. The bully's showing you a little defensive skill there. Right? They'll move away from that punch. And he returns on that exchange. The bully's on the bad end of a very impressive hook. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. You're still not moving enough. Move, move! Good work with that lead hand, doubling up the jab by Sullivan. Not able to land the uppercut. 
Able to cut down that ring and just push his opponent against the ropes. And that's the end of round three. Roll him off with some head. Not head. We got it. Roll him off with head. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see some defense and more power. Okay, breathe in. Take a deep breath. Great job that round. Doing well. Gotta watch the water in the corner. Come on. This is a classic example we're seeing here as we start round number four of just the busier guy taking the bullet. Big, big shot comes crashing home. How is he going to survive this once again he hits the deck? He's going to have to find a way. opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, the Bully Sullivan. The Bully's your winner by knockout. Now, I think he was headed towards a decision win anyways. But what a good way to just put a stamp on his evening. Yeah, bring down the curtain and make sure that more people are going to be talking about you when they leave the arena tonight. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.